Alrighty, so it's no secret we're flocking the Miata's dash. Everyone has already put this together that we're gonna be doing this. So inside of this looks like we got the flock in the bag. But we have next up we have next up we have the actual flocking gun or whatever you want to call this. You fill this guy up with flock, you put it in right oh this Oh, there's instructions. Anyway, as your boys trips out over instructions, I just want to give a huge side to this video sponsor, which is www.carpress.com, but more on that later in the video. Then next up, we have the glue from the flock. Uh, this is flock itch, suede texture, undercoat adhesive. This is like a black paint glue thing. And then this is a very cheap paintbrush. An insanely cheap paintbrush to apply it on. But something that I have been told and I've seen in every other YouTube tutorial, just buy a cheap ass little roller right here. This guy supposedly is way easier than dip, dip, dip. Alrighty boys, so here's what's happened. You probably can't hear me, so let me roll up my window. Bro, why'd you have to die on? So, God, bro, stop falling. Alrighty boys, so, bro. So, what I, please don't sideswipe me. So, what I need, <laughs> dude, I almost got an action. This is the only just almost sideswipe me, fool. So, what I need to do, God, there's so many bad drivers, dog. This dude is way past the line. Any. What I did was I picked up some saw horses because he has like pretty much every tool in the entire world. Alrighty boys, so here's the game plan for this right here. I have the garage door closed because, well, I'm not quite sure how wind and flock is going to go. I might open up the garage door again, just as I set everything up so that we have a little bit of better light for filming. But other than that, we're most 100% going to be doing it with the garage door closed. And man, I got to get better lighting out in the garage. So here's the game plan. These guys right here, the paper is going to go over the sawhorses. And then we're going to actually lay a tarp down on the ground. I just don't want to flock up these guys. <laughs> flock. You get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? So first off, you want to take out your old DAS, but well... So don't pull a me... Otherwise, you're going to have to buy an all-new DAS or just go with a full LRB Speed fully aluminum DAS. Now, this thing is freaking gorgeous in the aluminum. One huge downside, though, is the glare is absolutely horrific. So, we're going to try to completely flock this DAS and see how well it goes or see if I'm going to flock it up. <laughs> Come on, bro. That was a good one. I really want to leave the garage door open for ventilation because I feel like it's not that good of an idea to breathe in flock. But oddly enough, today, the single day that I decide I'm finally going to flock my DAS, California decides to have one of the highest wind days it's ever had in all of record history. So um, we're going to close the garage door so there ain't no wind gets in there and flock up my DAS. God damn, I'm on fire with those. So will this go well? Probably not. Oh, it did come with ancient instructions. Suggested use. Use it. Alrighty, after reading all of the instructions, it says I probably should use gloves. I don't have any gloves, so we're not going to use gloves. So first off, let's take out this stuff. Okay. It looks so weird and fuzzy. Okay. Oh, we're not even going to need the funnel. I'm probably going to need the funnel. Can I breathe this in or will this kill me? Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping at a while. I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn a thing fluid in the cool. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my my shine shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me Slide on me for that mean greed Vibe with me in the moonshine Sipping moonshine to the new sky Taste toasted and be raised so In the raincoat Hit the waist quota I be flossing I be locked in What's lost here? All that turned me to a target Plotting on me I be cautious Back then I was an adolescent Then I had a lesson I'm the man now I got fans now I'm on cam now I got plans now I'm finna branch out Grip quick but never like So if you watch a bunch of YouTube videos And they tell you to wear gloves and a mask Um... Follow those YouTube videos. Seriously though, I actually underestimated how freaking messy this would be. I mean, just look at my hands. Every single cut, divot, and anything in my hand, all the way up my entire arms is covered in black fuzz. Next time I do this, I 100% would wear gloves and even a long sleeve, because I'm covered. <sighs> even my phone. <sighs> 
which is sitting all the way over here on the workbench, and I'm working all the way over here, is absolutely covered. Now, the result, oh my freaking god. We got both of these pieces down there. Uh, that guy has a lot of flock on it. I can knock it off. That guy looks amazeballs. Oh my god. Let's knock this guy off a little bit. There you go. That looks so freaking good. Look at that flockness, dude. That looks amazing. And supposedly, it just gets even better once it dries. The DAS itself looks absolutely insane. Okay. But, oh my god, DIY suede is 100% worth it. This dude looks amazing, dude. And it's still soaking wet. So, I'm going to have to tune in in a couple of days. Because supposedly, you need to let this guy cure for 24 hours. So, I guess I'll see you then. It'll be two days later, and the DAS looks literally insane. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's going to show up in camera. There you go. Look at that thing. This thing is gorgeous. It feels really nice to touch. This thing is just, oh, bro, yo, give me a minute with the DAS. In camera, it looks so freaking patchy. In person, it just looks all solid black. I'm not quite sure why it'd be doing that. Maybe it's the lighting? Take this guy. Oh, yeah, it's 100% the lighting. Look, when I turn it down like that, it looks completely smooth. Alrighty, so let's take this guy and let's throw it into the purple and blue Miata. I forgot to mention the part where you take the dash and you violently sink it all apart to get all the excess flock off of it. This is why you need to let it sit for two days. <laughs> It's freaking black at night, so you can't really see this, so we're gonna have to wait until the next day. Alrighty, boys, it's the next day. There's another Miata here, but let's just pop this door open. Yes, I'm bare Look at my- Anyway, look at how good this freaking thing looks. Holy Okay, so there's already a spider web across this, but dude, look at how freaking good this looks. And the texture on the dash, it feels so cool. I'm just going to be at a red light, and I'm just going to be hand down here just petting my dash. Oh, it feels so cool. Alrighty, so the flock dash is 100% a W. Now, there is some other pieces that we have not flocked down there, but I do have a pretty cool, crazy idea that I want to take this hole here, and I want to cut these little tabs off right there. And I think I want to build a little bezel and put a touchscreen that has boost gauges, oil temperature, oil pressure, um, coolant, everything like that. Every single gauge that I'd want. Because one gigantic electric gauge screen normally has a couple hundred different gauge options that I can have. Instead of having to mount like a bunch of pod gauges all the way up here. But for $32 of flock, is this worth it? Yes. Now, it's kind of weird how my fingerprints show up in the flock. Like one of those pillows that like your girlfriend's mom has. I know you know exactly what I mean. It is really weird how my fingers show up all on it. It's probably going to be a bit. Sus. Sus. to keep clean but is this thing worth it 110 percent go buy a thing of flock and flock your freaking dash now in some areas like right about there if you look in the corner i don't know if it's going to focus let's try to zoom in hey yo buddy focus focus there you go uh you can see a little bit of the aluminum on this corner right there and that edge so i think if you're ever going to flock something aluminum just make sure you paint all edges where the seams meet. Otherwise, the aluminum might stick through a little bit. I think I need to get a brush or something and brush this all one direction because it is kind of bothering me that you can see the different ways I touch it. Anyway, is flocking your dash worth it? A flocking 110%. Go flock your flocking dash. That joke's probably not funny. Okay, we're going to end the video. Anyway, if you have a cracked dash and going aluminum and flock isn't the route you want to go with, definitely check out www.carbrush.com where you can get a brand new full plastic dash that doesn't have any cracks. Now, whether that's a dash, bumpers, hoods, fenders, headlights, motor parts, literally anything that you want, even wheels and stuff, carbrush.com has got you covered. Anyway, you boys trying a different style of outros because I'm just seeing which one you guys like more. So if you want to hit that subscribe button down below, it seriously helps out the channel and helps out the videos do better. Remember, if the videos do better, they get better views and then more people see them and then it's a perpetual loop so hit the subscribe button down below and peace out i love you guys